Hi, I'm Joanna, and this video is brought to you by Baby Lock. A t-shirt quilt is a great way to make a keepsake that will be cherished for years to come. So what do you do once you've completed the quilt top and ready to finish it? Today, I'm going to share some tips for finishing a t-shirt quilt. First, let's talk about prepping the quilt sandwich. You'll want to iron the seams of your quilt top open to avoid extra bulk while quilting. Make sure to pre-wash your backing fabric because t-shirts have generally been washed and dried many times and will not shrink. Therefore, washing your backing fabric before quilting will keep your quilt from looking too puckered. Because of this, you're going to want to purchase slightly more backing fabric to account for any shrinkage. There are a few things to consider when choosing batting. T-shirts can be heavy, so a thin 100% cotton batting will keep the weight down if that's a concern. Check the batting label to see how densely you need to machine quilt your quilt. If you won't be quilting larger areas of the quilt due to logos and t-shirt designs that might feature heavy plastic, you want to make sure your batting type supports that. Most batting calls for stitches 4 to 10 inches apart, so choose accordingly. Next, it's time to baste your quilt top. Be liberal with your basting pins or basting spray if you prefer to use that. Knits stretch very easily, so avoid distortion by taking the time to baste correctly. If you're using t-shirts in a variety of colors, consider using a cream or gray thread to machine quilt, which will blend in with most of the colors in your fabric. Or try a variegated thread. This one that I have here happens to have blue, green, and purple, which matches well with the colors in these particular t-shirts. Now we're ready to quilt. I like to start by stitching in the ditch to keep the blocks in place. So use your walking foot to evenly feed all the layers of the quilt and to avoid distorting the knit top. Start from the center and work your way out to the edge. Be sure to smooth the quilt as you go so no puckers develop. You may want to avoid quilting through the heavy plastic parts of the t-shirt design. You'll have a hard time quilting through it and it could leave holes or even damage the t-shirt design. Consider echoing around the design and then filling the remaining part of the t-shirt with a stipple or other fill design. If you find you need more grip on your quilt top, you may want to try using machine quilting gloves. The logo or shirt design will pop if you quilt densely in the open space around the design, which gives a nice focal point to your quilt. So those are my tips for finishing a t-shirt quilt. A t-shirt quilt is a great way to preserve memories and create a lasting keepsake. Check out the links below for free t-shirt quilt patterns.